Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Tobago. I'm Davia Chambers and today we are at Tobago's premier oceanfront luxury hotel, the Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort. Stay with us for the next half hour as we show you all that awaits you here on your next vacation or business trip. We also have all the details from this week's top stories starting with the headlines. Tobago's young artists bring their imagination to life in the Chief Secretary's Tobago Secondary School's art competition. We'll tell you who's the big winner. One East Tobago community gets a new youth enhancement center. We hear from Bell Garden residents on improvements they'd like to see in the health sector. And later, you'll see how one school celebrated Tobago Day. We've got these stories and more when Let's Talk Tobago returns. Occupying a stretch of two and a half miles along the east coast of Tobago Plantations Estate is the Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort, and it's surrounded by nature on every side. And nature was also a popular inspiration for participants of the Chief Secretary's Tobago Secondary School's art competition. The winner was unveiled recently at the event's prize-giving ceremony. Have a look. The future of art in Tobago is in good hands. That's the assessment of officials who attended the recent prize-giving ceremony for the 2018 Chief Secretary's Tobago Secondary School's art competition. For the past seven years, secondary students ages 11 to 18 submit artwork using various media and techniques and are not restricted by a theme. This year, 12 winners were chosen from 47 entries and six different schools. They will grace the Chief Secretary's calendar 2019. Chief Secretary Kelvin Charles says the students should see the competition as a stepping stone to greater things. Occasions like this art competition are opportunities to grasp because of what they contribute to your overall well-being and by extension the society as a whole. Mr. Charles has also revealed his plans he has for art at the secondary level. Early next year I shall be establishing or setting up a Department of Innovation and it may interest you to know that we talk about STEM, science, technology, engineering and math. I have morphed that or I intend to morph that into STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics. 15-year-old Roxborough resident Moses is a student of Speyside High School. He says it was his first time entering the competition. He was surprised to win. He attributes his success to his teacher's support. Well, I feel elated because I've been working hard and now all the hard work has been paid off. And I would like to thank all our teachers who are working tirelessly with me and the rest of the students. Defending champions Scarborough Secondary School did repeat but produced one finalist and also picked up the Chief Administrator's Award. Other finalists and special awardees including students from Goodwood High, Roxborough High and Bishops High School's finalists. I'm Marlon Gutzelben for Let's Talk to Bego. Magdalena was chosen as the resort's name because it was the original name of Tobago derived from one of Christopher Columbus's ships. It pays homage to the island's rich heritage, traditions and people. Now the Roxborough Police Youth Club has been around for almost three decades, contributing to youth development in the community. And the organization has expanded its youth development thrust by opening a new center. Omodara Mills explains. The opening of the Collis Hazer Youth Enhancement Center is the latest of many milestones for the Roxborough Police Youth Club. In nearly three decades, the club has positively transformed the lives of young people. Its contributions have come in the forms of culture, academics, sport, community safety, 
and even in preserving the environment. The commissioning of the centre coincided with the club's 28th anniversary and youth awards celebrations. Today's opening of the College Hazel Enhancement Centre represents another hallmark of success as we continue to lead change. Its facility will be utilised to aid in health and wellness, dancing and drumming, lectures, conferences, birthday parties, movies and community meetings. The club is in final discussion with the judiciary to use the facility for the juvenile court project in Tobago. Members were awarded for excellence in education, culture, sport and leadership. Tobago East MP Ayana Webster-Roy is a past member of the Police Youth Club. She's encouraging its young members to take advantage of all the opportunities they have now. You all are very fortunate that you are living in a time period where you have a facility that you are comfortable. So you have no excuse. You have no excuse when it comes to performing. You have no excuse when it comes to excellence. You have a building that you could operate out of. The center's name pays homage to the Police Youth Club's founder, Collis Hazel. Currently, Mr. Hazel is the club's lead facilitator and an active member of the community. There is nobody more deserving as it relates to youth development, especially in Windward Tobago, than Mr. Collis Hazel. Mr. Hazel has always kept the young people of Roxborough and the young people of this area close, near and dear to his heart. So I'm really pleased to see this happening here today. Over the years, the Tobago House of Assembly has partnered and endorsed the initiatives of the Police Youth Club. It's expected that the collaborations will continue so that both institutions can nurture future leaders. I'm Amadara Mills for Let's Talk Tobago. The resort offers 200 rooms and suites, all with large terraces or balconies, so you can enjoy breathtaking panoramic views of the ocean. They're also designed to provide maximum comfort to every Magdalena guest. Now the health sector has resumed its public meeting series, starting in the East. Residents had the chance to contribute to issues they believe will enhance service in their areas. We have more in this story. Ambulance service in East Tobago and support for the mentally ill are two major concerns for residents in Bell Garden. They raised these and other issues at a recent public meeting on health hosted in the east of the island. The meeting targeted residents from Bell Garden to Speyside and invited their contributions. It's just one step in efforts to improve the health service delivery in these communities. And I want to know what actually has been done with um, people who are mentally ill because you walk the streets every day and those mentally ill people are still roaming the streets. People, even though they're mentally ill, they have rights as well. I don't know we could just take them off the street as you would. You are suggesting um, we care for every citizen. You are, are procedures to remove people off the street. But there are also softer areas that communities could assist because those persons have been, they, they're born in the same communities that we see them. So we ask that you all assist us as well in terms of, of, of this matter. Residents are also hoping for an improvement in response times of ambulances to the area. I had the unfortunate responsibility of having to call an ambulance last week on behalf of a family a family friend or friend's family and uh, have to, in essence, look at this person, have what we know was a heart attack and wait for the ambulance for over an hour. The frustration of that situation is acknowledged if, um, based on what you have said, at the moment the TRHA has 10 ambulances Nine of them are functioning. If you can give me an idea of when it happened so that we can look within our log because we have quality control. And so I, I would ensure that that call and that incident is reviewed. Employment of nurses is another critical area highlighted at the meeting. Within Tobago, we know we have a lot of nurses that came out previously and even way back two years, three years ago, and I just concerned about the unemployment rate, what are the process of these people getting employed, they might 
do interviews on a yep. The establishment for nurses um, um, tells us, um, based on what we are delivering, how many nurses we require. We have excess capacity. In other words, we have more nurses trained than spaces to put them. That is our reality, not just in Tobago, but in Trinidad. This was the first public meeting for the health sector this year. It was hosted through collaboration between the Division of Health, Wellness and Family Development and the Tobago Regional Health Authority, the TRHA. The next health public meeting will be held in another East community, Charlottesville. I'm Kuhn DeFritas for Let's Talk Tobago. Secondary school students are learning more about our parliamentary system and having their say on important issues at the Youth Assembly debate. It's coming up next after this break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The Magdalena Grand Resort offers a wide range of activities to suit the needs of guests. You can choose from tennis, water sports, golf and spa treatments right here at the Face and Body Clinic. When it comes to dining, there are eight restaurants available at the resort. So who says youth cannot contribute to key social issues? Well, they did just that at the recent Youth Assembly debate at the Assembly Legislature. We've got the highlights in this report. As the island celebrated Tobago Day with various activities, students weren't left out. They participated in the 6th Annual Youth Plenary Sitting hosted by the Assembly Legislature of the Tobago House of Assembly. This year's motion saw the budding politicians debate the creation of an anti-bullying task force. They also discussed developing a student-led awareness campaign with support from the Division of Education, Innovation and Energy, as well as the Division of Sport and Youth Affairs. I recommend that is that the school should create a camp, a youth-friendly camp. This camp teaches the victim and both bully about compassion and loving one another. Not surprisingly, this minority leader, however, held a different view on the task force for bullies and victims of bullying. Yes, you can implement these systems and policies in schools, but how much would it cost the economy of this country? How effective is this going to be? And what impact would it have on students? We must ask ourselves these. You cannot shelter a child. When he or she goes into the real world, how are they going to react when they encounter such situations? And this assemblyman agreed that youth-friendly support systems and rehabilitation options for perpetrators of bullying is needed. Let's give Jack his jacket. Bullying is bullying. Let us not sugarcoat this issue. All bullying must be dealt with in the sense of urgency. I urge you members opposite to not put a scale on bullying. You cannot measure physical pain and you certainly cannot measure psychological pain. The Youth Assembly gives students the opportunity to experience the way the island's governing body operates. They also learn how it produces policies that impact Tobago. I'm Caroline Wallace for Let's Talk Tobago. An 18-hole golf course is woven into the landscape of the Tobago Plantation Estate. The course is PGA designed to championship standards with natural lakes, mangroves and wild grass providing the perfect landscape to test your long and short game. So tourism youth clubs were introduced into secondary schools across Tobago last year. To mark this anniversary, a number of students participated in the recent Youth Tourism Symposium. The details are in this next story. Tobago's food and the arts aren't just cultural assets. They're also key aspects of the island's tourism product. So at this year's Tourism Youth Symposium, students were encouraged to become entrepreneurs and to capitalize on their skills in these areas. Confectioner Shade Titus is one of those business owners doing just that. She turned her love for traditional local sweets into a tourism business. I don't make better works. I make better treats. Sometimes they are drizzled or covered in chocolate in a many different shapes. We also make sugar cake in three exciting flavors of rum, cherry, and pineapple. 
students were reminded that it's important to create experiences that are memorable for all our visitors. We must strive to give our visitors essences that are uniquely Tobago, distinctly warm, refreshingly accommodating, and unreservedly inviting. People remember what they feel. Tourism is hinged on experiences. Today the presenters really opened up my eyes on, on the risk it to become an entrepreneur, but the result, which is even better, and it gives you, you know, lasting experiences in the tourism industry. The symposium also featured a logo competition. The judges selected the winning design created by Speyside High School's Nathan McKenzie from 30 entries. We went back and forth tabulating and we are pleased to have this logo presented as the feature logo. The students are always in tools to compete in this competition, especially competition that could cause them to be ambassadors for Tobago and by extension Trinidad and Tobago. Nathan is more inspired as his artwork will be the official logo of the tourism youth clubs in Tobago's schools. I feel very honored to be the winner feature speaker. She really motivated and to keep on pushing at your goals and to never give up. I think it's a nice and creative way to get the young people involved so that tourism doesn't look boring but it's something creative and interesting that they could be a part of. Industry partners were also present to highlight career opportunities in tourism. We're trying to find those, uh, those kids who have a natural love for the ocean and for adventure and are willing to uh, or interested in trying to find a, a career path. Um, somewhere along those lines that they can do something that they love and enjoy. And of course, the youngsters also enjoyed live entertainment from some of their favorite artists. From the Division of Tourism, Culture and Transportation, I'm Juliet James reporting for Let's Talk Tobago. Love is lovely and is celebrated right here at Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort. It provides a great setting for tying the knot, renewing your vows, honeymooning, or just getting in some quiet, quality time. Now, serenity is also important to the people of Blackrock. They shared their security concerns at the latest police town meeting in their area. More in this report. The latest Trinidad and Tobago Police Service town meeting stopped in the community of Blackrock. There, residents expressed all concerns with safety and security in the community. When the visitors are here, they don't like to be sticking up in the hotels all the time. So they like to walk the beach, even at nights, much more critical at nights. So I would like to see some police officers, police patrolling the beach, particularly at nights. When the visitors are here, they don't like to be sticking up in the hotels all the time. So they like to walk the beach, even at nights, much more critical at nights. So I would like to see some police officers, police patrolling the beach, particularly at nights. Recently I would have given um, instructions for patrols to be increased throughout all the station districts, especially at nights. When the, shift, at the overnight shift coming back, to give a four-hour patrol in the night. And that is happening. It's just that we, the beach wasn't targeted. The beach patrol is for um, Inspector Old Green to take note of. Yeah, because the tourist season is upon us again. I would like to know why did this con continue of the community police program in the village? The reason, the reason why I ask, there are a lot of strange faces in the community. If someone comes to you from Trinidad to rent a room, part of the condition must be that they give you a copy of the, some form of ID. Take that form of, CID, of ID to the CID. Ask for Ms. Alicia Piggott, Sergeant Piggott. She could run a trace on that person for you. But there were also commendations for the members of the police service. One morning I get up and I meet a man on my lemon tree. You know what is a lemon tree? With full of pica. And I said, but what is this man doing on my lemon tree? I called Old Green. The man was on my lemon tree. I called Old Green. They come in five minutes. And they apprehend, they apprehend the man. I said, all you come so quick.
The meeting was held at Black Rock Community Center. We have to take a break, but coming up, students of one secondary school took a trip back to the old time days to celebrate Tobago Day. It's up next in our final segment right after this break. Stay with us. Let's Talk Tobago. We'll be right back. They say it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters the most. And in the face of disaster, chaos, and panic, it is the Tobago Emergency Management Agency's comprehensive emergency response plans that will matter most to Tobago. This agency's modernized approach to emergency management is driven by technology, powered by networking, focused on community resilience, open to partnering, enhanced through training, and led by a highly competent and dedicated staff. This has positioned them as one of the premier disaster management agencies in the region and earned them Trinidad and Tobago Diamond Standard Certification. Congrats, TEMA, Tobago Emergency Management Agency. The Magdalena experience is sure to help rejuvenate your mind, body and spirit with all the amenities you'll need and exceptional service. Even if you just want to stop in and enjoy the ambience, all you need is a day pass. Finally, Tobago Day celebration certainly went up another notch this year. The youth featured prominently, especially at one school that provided a hands-on, authentic Tobago experience. Here's what they did. A taste of Tobago's heritage. That was the theme of a fun-filled day at Bishop's High School in celebration of Tobago Day. The teachers thought it was a good idea to teach the students about the history of the island by showcasing several aspects of Tobago's heritage. We have been celebrating Tobago Day even before it became Tobago Day when it was the THA Day and um, it just grew when we saw the opportunity to, to teach the history of Tobago and to ensure that it's a part of our curriculum at Bishop's High School. Tobago Day brings together many elements of the island's proud past, all in one place. It's an initiative the Tobago House of Assembly presiding officer, Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus, says should be applauded. Before we celebrated Tobago House of Assembly Day, and that celebrated, in essence, the development of an institution. But in 2015, that was changed to Tobago Day, and therefore it really is calling on all Tobagonians to get involved in the celebration. Understanding that we can't have a Tobago without the input of each and every Tobagonian. And so this is their expression of uh, celebrating Tobago Day, and I really want to commend and congratulate them for this initiative. The students also experience firsthand several of the island's traditions, such as its culinary delights and aspects of dress. Today what we're doing here, we made cassava ice cream. This group is called Cassava Delights and we came up with the ice cream idea because normally for desserts, people like desserts and we think that it would be very unique to do ice cream because not much people would really go through the process of making ice cream. Um, you don't really see cassava ice cream in Tobago so we thought that it would be a nice idea. And the project was really, so said that the project was really to challenge yourself based on like in terms of food and nutrition skills. So it was a lot of work to get all the cups and the cones and all of those stuff but we were able to do it on time and we hope that at the end of the day we make a successful profit out of the project. The first activity that I did was head wrapping and I learned plenty of things. I learned that the African Africans are the ones who did the head wrapping because they wanted, they wrapped their head because of all the hard work and labor they did, so they didn't want the dust to go in their head, so they did the head wrapping. Other activities included crab racing, jump rope, and playing cricket with a coconut branch. Tobago Day is held every year on December 4th. I'm Marlon Gutzelben for Let's Talk Tobago. And it's now time to have your say, the segment of our program where we hear from you, the viewers. We'll now have a look at who had their say this week. That's not, hold on. I've written for the money for the question. Hola, hola, me llamo Marlon Gottsleben. Unfortunately, that's all the Spanish that I might know. Okay, today the question is, do you think it's important to learn a new language? 
This is what you said. We have Venezuela, who is our neighboring country. They speak Spanish. So if we go this close distance between us and our neighboring country, and we cannot speak Spanish, then we have that communication barrier between us and our closest neighbor. Yes, I want to speak Spanish. We have a lot of Spanish and French people, French Creole people around the island now you know, coming into work and this kind of stuff, so it's always best to speak two languages or speak more than two languages. Between different people, you're traveling and interacting with all kind of people. Because we live in a multicultural environment and where we have a lot of, in terms of being a tourism-based island, where you have a lot of people speaking different languages, it's important that, especially in Tobago, right, Tobagoans need to learn and its language so that we could be able to relate with others and also it helps us to grow and expand our knowledge and experience. We close yet another edition of Let's Talk Tobago and as always we thank you for watching. Please email us with your comments or queries about the program and be sure to visit our website, like our Office of the Chief Secretary Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now for more information on the Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort, you can contact 660-8500 or visit their website at www.magdalenagrand.com. From our house to yours, I'm Davia Chambers, along with the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly, wishing you a safe and a very productive week. We leave you with a montage of the Tobago Day Expo 2018. Do enjoy. Like the sunlight and the rainfall, like the the boy now, so just full stop. Till the last beat, and may I stop? Say, I really feel like. Every time we say the right, and nobody like this, and nobody like you. Back vocal. All I say, so they go tell them, and every single time we start, I always wanna let you know that I love this about this, and nobody like you. One more time, she lives to me right now. Make the ball out. Tobago special to me, Tobago special to me, yeah. very special, Tobago, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, special to me, to me, to me, and he very special. My name is Joshua.